Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the smallest Class A Winnebago in the world. This is the 2020 Winnebago Intent Model 28Y. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three things I love about this Winnebago and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today we are taking a look at the smallest Winnebago that they make, the Intent 28Y, which is a great concept floor plan. It's so small, but it actually gives you three slide outs, so it's very spacious on the inside and has an outside kitchen. Now, before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you feeling? We're waking uh, up super early this morning. Yeah, I've been up with the dog. Yep. Ding, see our puppy. All right. Yeah, she she uh bites and you know. All she does is eat, poop, and sleep and, and bite. Eat everything, guys. She eats, poops. Tell me it's bites, gonna get sleeps. better, everyone. It won't get better. <laughs> but uh, super excited. We've been super busy the last couple of days, guys. Listen, if you want to come down here to the dealership and meet me and look at RVs, please call ahead and make an appointment. Andre, what's going on? Every it's like I've had the busiest <laughs> week of my life. Hey, you've worked hard for it. All right. Well, let's begin. Model is 28 wide, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 28 feet six inches. This is the Winnebago Intent. It's their entry-level Class A motorhome, and new for 2020, they've made it this gray color. For 2019, it was white, and it looked really plain and basic. I like how it's gray. Even though it's entry level, it's still Winnebago, so it still has this steel cage construction up front. Really nice for impacts, you know, if you do get into an accident. I really like the grill. Yeah, it's a nice looking grill. Coming down the side here, you do have your mirrors here. You got cameras on your left side and right side right there. Here's your tires. Oh man, these are good year. 245-70R19.5. Again, entry level motorhome. And then check out this huge power oh, awning with LED wow. lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Womp womp. It's a white awning, but the top of it's gray patterned. Yeah, but it is a nice uh, power awning with LED lights. Coming down the slide side here, there is a slide out, and I like how it still gives you a slide topper. Right over here, here's your battery. You got your power plugs right there on the outside. And then look, that's a great place to tie the dog down. All right, coming down the side here. Not a ton of storage on this motorhome. It's a small Class A, but look at that. Ain't that nice? That is pretty that's good. That's a nice big door. I do like that. Down the side here. Here you got, um, not really storage. This is just your valves and your motors and stuff like that and then right here check this out oh look at this nice outside kitchen look here. at that i love it you got a little fridge right there tv on the outside nice drawer there sink that's plumbed through this tv comes out yep wow yep, swivels out no storage behind and then right here you do a, psh, a beer opener right nice there. and a little nook there yep that's very cute only in america i love it great coming around the back oh no no rear bumper for your stinky slinky oh my god i hate that because look at this ladder how dumb is that oh my god i'm gonna have a nervous breakdown when yeah. you get on there five thousand pound hits in this motorhome can tow five thousand pounds right up there you do have a backup camera and you have a ladder that you gotta be a freaking gymnast to get up on. <laughs> Yo. I don't know if I want you even attempting that. Hold my beer, I no, got No, no, <laughs> no. No, no. Feel the rhythm, <laughs> feel the life. It's bobsled time. Cool running. No, Matt. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Please I'm hold on. Oh my gosh, don't talk, just hold on. I got this. 
All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece PVC roof. That's what uh, Winnebago uses on this product, the PVC. Right there, you do have the King Air digital antenna, 30 amp motorhome with one AC unit. And up here, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Oh my gosh, please just hold on. This is what I call dedication. I got this. Be careful, be careful. Big jump, big jump. Oh, great, <laughs> and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV sales we call take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. And hey, <laughs> if you don't already have your Matt's RV review sticker, bing, and that's not a good enough reason not to get one. I don't, I don't know, know what, what is. I don't know what <laughs> Great. Right. Oh man, this is locked. Coming around the back here, you got a little bit of storage. Oh! Right over there, you got more storage with the light. I like that. I like the colors on here, guys. Look at this. Look at the pretty blue. Yep. The yellow looks sharp. More storage. Here's your black and gray tank dump, your power switch, everything. Oh, over here, here's all your hookup and everything. Actually, I lied. That's where your generator goes. It's a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. This is the exhaust. Uh, right here is a six gallon DSI water heater. More storage this there. This is very great. I mean, the storage is amazing on here. I'm yep. actually really shocked for it being so little. And then you got more storage right there. And look at these propane tanks. I like how they're doing that because it makes it easier to refill. You could just pop them out. Yep. Great. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Skippy. I, I would love to see you on coffee. Cargo carrying capacity, 3,361. Yep. Let's see, that's insane. Look at that, guys. Right. That's crazy. Get on in there. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going with the whole do it yourself thing again yeah yeah the diy the intense like the diy you know here's what i like to say have you ever been in a motorhome folks and you've been wondering who designed that motorhome yes well this one the winnebago outlook and the winnebago intense kind of like the diy in its neutral colors you can design it yourself and then there's the bathroom as you can see with the slide i have plenty of walkway to get in with the slides in oh yeah Now, what is great, there's three slide outs to this. Great, now while I was putting the slide outs out, do me a huge favor, leave down in the comments below. Let me know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. And Andrea. Yes. Um, I did get a message from a customer yesterday about a new 2021 model that they bought. It wasn't this manufacturer, it was another one. By the way, one, why didn't you buy it from me? But it's all good. We'll, we'll, we'll address that later. <laughs> but it came in with two features that we talked crap about and they fixed it. Nice. So that's super exciting. So listen, folks, the whole point is. The manufacturers, trust me, they read the comments. Yes, and we're trying to change RV history, guys. The more you comment, the more they listen. Yep, perfect. So let's get started up here. This is your traditional area right up here. Um, these seats, they do swivel to become part of the living area. I kind of like the material. I do too. You have your uh, auto leveling right there. Everything, it's kind of like a weird look. Sit over there, Andrea. I actually like it. It. You know what, guys? I. It's very different in here, and I mean, I don't like that there's not a computer tray, but look right. at this, just the look of it. Yeah, the look, it, it, it's, it's definitely different. different. You got a cup holder, what we got, look. We MCD, got privacy MCD. plate. I mean, it's, it's really different, and I like it. Oh yeah, and here's what the motorhome looks like all opened up. <laughs> Three slide outs, it is real big. And then we have pedestal table that goes there, chairs yep. do swivel. Yep. We do have a bunk over the cab. Let's see if we can find that switch. There, we, there go. we go. Okay. Look at that. Very interesting bunk over the cab. Yes. 
different. Not the best one I've seen, not the worst one I've seen. It is high up, yep. and that's as far as it goes, so yep. you gotta make sure you do use the ladder. But I believe it holds 300 pounds as well. Nice. So very interesting. Let's watch it go back up. The mechanism in it is pretty cool. See how the top of it yeah. goes up? Interesting. Very interesting. And as you can see, you have speakers. And then you have little cubbies there on each side. Yep. So over here in the living room area, kind of, uh, this is a small motorhome and there's no sofa. So you only have the dinette. You have this nice cabinetry from Winnebago. Winnebago always does a good job with their cabinetry. It may never look the best, but it always does feel Again, the best. Again, the Entry color level. of the cabinets is, I don't like, but I like that you can do whatever you want to it. Right, and well, the valances here are white and the walls are gray. Yeah, they look do at that. that. Again, if you haven't seen the Easter episode, uh, it's the DIY. It's you, you can design it yourself. There's no patterns. There's no clovers. There's no flowers wrapped in dragons. You know, you can just design <laughs> this motorhome yourself. And check the, check out this table. You ready? Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's go. Well, it does drop down to make a bed, but. <laughs> Oh, it does something different. It does it? something different. Okay. Okay, there's these two roller things here. Oh, Look wow. Look at that. Great hydro stash <laughs> of Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos right there. Ain't that cool? You got a US, oh, you got a electrical outlet USB. Yep. And this does drop down to make a bed? Sure does. Now, Matt, can you show that real quick? Nope. Seatbelts. I'm just kidding. There you go. See? Yep, drops down, makes a bed. And then and you just put the top. pads over it. Yeah. That's a very, very interesting it's table. It's a dream dinette. It's really nice. And then there's your TV. Over here's the TV, right? Notice how there's no heat ducts in the floor. They're on the side. And look, you have another power outlet there. There's a lot of power outlets. In here. Yes, there is. And as you can see, there's your awning. Yep. And there's light. There's a light there. Well, Andrea. Yes. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And we got a mighty combination. One, not only is this the smallest Winnebago and it might not, it's not too desirable by a lot of people. A lot of people don't mind a little bit bigger ones that give you sofas, but we have a lot of these in stock. And so we're blowing them out. You ready? Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? Hey, MSRP on this motorhome is one hundred thirty six thousand eighty six dollars msrp we have them again we have a lot in stock and somebody ordered too many it's all good 42 percent off what? MSRP to 79999 for a small class a under 30 feet with three slide outs by winnebago that's crazy that's a crazy deal um don't call me to get a better price because you can't because i can't but call me if you're interested in more information about this motorhome. It's massrvreviews at gmail.com or 3019060962. Oh, no. Yeah, 3019060962 or www.massrvreviews.com. I'm trying to tell everybody what to do. You guys can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey. Oh, now I do it. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I was wondering, Andre was looking at me like, what? I I'm not going out of order. Also, guys, remember, this size is the perfect motorhome to get into state and national parks. If, if the length's, yeah, under 30 feet. Okay, Andre, show this kitchen. Yeah, look at this kitchen. I love it. I love that there's a window here. Yep. We've got our Vanna light. Vanna white light. Ba -ding. Look at the cabinet. Look at that big uh -huh. shelf. I love it. Plenty of space. Now, this is interesting. I like this. You know what? I like yep. all this counter space. Yep, so much. Yep. I like the double sink. Yep, because that goes over Very it. Very nice. Electrical outlet. Over here, we have another cabinet. Look at that. That's great. And we have three big drawers. V and drawers. you guys, these are not cheap. These are not cheap cabinets. Oh, yeah. For this being entry level Winnebago, this is not cheap. Right. Well, Winnebago does all their cabinetry and everything in house. And then we got a microwave. Very nice. Got a three burner cooktop. Okay. And then we got a nice oven. Oh man. Kind of little. And then a nice big drawer here for pots and pans. Yep. I love how the slide is not clunky dark wood. Yep. And then we got a C compressor refrigerator. Yeah, and this is just the camp size. 
but that's very that's nice. A great size. Very nice. And then we got a drawer under here. Yep. And then we got more cabinetry. Pantry space. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And then also right up here, y'all, you can see this where your solar controllers is, slide out buttons, bunk down and everything. Thermostat, inverter control. Everything. All right. Time for the bathroom. Ooh, it's dark in there. Ooh, interesting. Okay, look Slide at that. The Where's switch. the light switch? There it is. Okay, I've never seen a shower like this. Okay. Let's see it. Wow. You know what? It feels good. Like this part. I it doesn't feel, feel yeah. like you're like no. going in. I like it. It's I very, like the door. It's a very unique size shower. I, I wasn't going to think I was going to like it, but I do like it. There's plenty of space in yeah, there. Yeah, this is a great shower. Great shower. Great job. And then, as you can see, there's the mirror. Uh -huh. We got a sink there. I like a little bit of that going on. Got yep. cabinetry under there. Yep. And then above, we got more cabinetry. Very nice. I do like the handles. Mm hmm You got a towel rack here. And then over here, guys, there's more. Oh my God. Look at that. Well, all this for storage your for cargo carrying capacity. And then you got a little drawer down there. Yep. Very nice. Oh yeah. All right, let's see the toilet. Time for the toilet test. Plastic. Wah, what? Wah, wah. I really thought I was gonna be porcelain. It's a shame. People ask sometimes, why don't I like plastic toilets? Because of that. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Not a fan. Toilet paper holder looks like it's in an okay place. Yeah, and that's in a good spot. It's a shame. It's a shame. Got towel racks there on the door. All right, over here in the bedroom area. Turn some lights on. There we go. Look, we got another slide out. Three slide outs. I absolutely Look at love this. that. Look at all the space around the yeah. bed. Let's check. Very nice. Very nice. We got a queen size in here. Yep. I like the headboard. Look, I like the little Winnebago thingy going on there. Fan of white lights. Nice headboard. Nice storage above. Very, very nice. Again. And look, it gives you nightstands. Yep, for CPAP machines. And you got your USB and your electrical outlet. Yep. And then there's little nooks there. Yep. And look at that window. Very nice window. And you got a mirror there. And then look at the wardrobe. Yep. Your pedestal table's in there. That's great. Very nice wardrobe right there. And there's your fan. And oh. there was a fan in the bathroom as well, guys. Fantastic. You got drawers. Okay. It's crazy that you get this much storage in an outside kitchen. I know. And look at that little nook down there. That's yep. cute. Yep. Okay, so look, it does give you a TV. Which, I don't know if there's storage back there, is there? Uh, no, no probably okay. not. So your TV does swivel out. And you have a little counter here. And yep. a nice window. Yep. Wow, there's a lot of cabinets in it's here. It's a great little motorhome, I'm telling you. If, if, if you need something small, th this one is it. And it has a pocket door, yay! Yep. And not accordion. Now, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, hold on a second. Wait up, wait a second. Hey, <laughs> it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? I say let's do the dislikes first because I want to end on a positive note. Okay. Well, I am going to do all three dislikes. Okay. Because I got them. I bet you I have, we're, we're thinking the same. No, no, we're not. Oh, watch yourself. Well, not for number three. Number one and two, we probably are. So number one, personal opinion and preference. I do not like how there's no sofa in this motorhome. It's just me. I don't like just having the dinette. Actually, if I had the choice, which you don't, I'd rather have the sofa and no dinette. But, um, you know, I like my... RVs to have sofas. So that's it. No big deal. It just is what it is if you want this size. Okay. Number two. I don't like how there's no bumper here. I don't like this ladder. This was so hard, right? If I wasn't like an athlete, <laughs> you know, I mean, I had a hard time getting up there. I mean, people won't be able to get up there and it's really stupid. And I hate that, okay? So that's two. And then number three, okay, you ready for this? For 2020, okay? I have never disliked something more in my life than what I'm about to show you. This is the dumbest dislike. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. 
and if somebody knows the reason why they do this please leave this down in the comments below okay so you ready for this Andrea yep we were gonna do this motorhome the other day okay and the reason why we didn't because I couldn't find the battery disconnect right so check it out in every motorhome in America right when you walk in there's a button right here that says battery disconnect yes. right for your coach it's battery. usually always when you walk in always you want to know where it is Andrea follow me oh my gosh you never know hang on really look back there what down and around oh you gotta be a freaking you gotta do the macarena just to turn the power on wow Andrea listen I'd rather have a plastic toilet in a in a Discovery LXE. Oh my goodness. Then have that. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my freaking life. And I don't know why they did that. It doesn't make any sense. And again, there might be some logical reason why. And I would love to for somebody to say, Matt, you're an idiot. Here's why. But <laughs> until that day, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Cool. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea, do you have one or two? I do. Go ahead. Okay, so I, you know what I really like about this? Uh -huh. I like how the cabinets are not cheap. Yes. And it being entry level. I like that you can hear it. I like that I can paint it anything I want to because I don't like this color, but I like having that option and I like that it's not cheap cabinets. Right, so, so you like the quality of the cabinets. Yes. Not necessarily the look, but right. you do like the quality. Exactly. Okay. And then I love the kitchen. Okay, so wait, so one is the quality of the cabinets, yes. okay? So what's number two? Number two is the kitchen. Okay. And the counter space. I, I must agree. And the sink. And you know, a big part of that is this motorhome having three slide outs. Yeah. It's able, it's very small on the outside, but very big and spacious on the inside. And you're 100% right, you do not get that cabinetry. So number three thing I love about this motorhome is outside. Okay. Oh, watch your step. Now the third thing I love about this motorhome is this outside kitchen. I don't know why there's so many manufacturers going away from this. I love the kitchen. I love the fridge. I love the sink. I love all of that action going on there. And it's just a great feature, especially for a small motorhome that's only 28 feet long. I really love it. I agree and it's great but that's it that's the review thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about this motorhome or any other motorhomes please call me text me send me an email it is matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 or check out my website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official matt's rv review sticker bing remember buy one get one free because remember climbing up this ladder sucked <laughs> but i did it for y'all andre do you have anything you want to say yes tell us hey guys let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. We are changing RV history, so we do know the manufacturers read our comments. Uh -huh. And um, I hope everybody's doing well. And if you haven't gotten a chance to get our sticker, go ahead and go to mattsrreviews.com. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.